Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do some nice and easy card using the Varied Vases set. Now, I haven't used this um, since I got it. I used it once, so I want to um, have a little go and make some little 4x4 cards. So I'm going to make two today. So, all I'm going to do though is I'm going to be stamping in black. And <clears throat> adding a touch of colour with these stamping blends. Okay, so there is a total of 34 stamps in this. Really good set. If you want, you could use your um, Stamparatus. But for, day, uh, for today, I'm just going to use um, my stamping box. So, <clears throat> now we have a few discrete sentiment designs in here so we have <coughs> oh excuse me thanks hello birthday wishes hoping your day blooms with happiness you are simply the best um so that's really adorable um i do have a bit of a sore throat so <coughs> i do apologize if i am coughing and spluttering now there's a few things we could do with this set Okay, now let me see. What one am I going to go for? Um, I think I'll go for this simple poppy. And I think that poppy um, should go in a smaller vase. Like so. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to part stamp and then um, add the vase one to there. Okay, so if I pop, if I pop that one on that block, now I'm going to put it face down, then pick it up so that it doesn't wobble around. Same with this one. So I'll get my ink. Dee, 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 dee. Right. So if I pop that one on there. Okay. I'm then going to add, you can see how I've only put some of the ink on. I'm going to add the, line it up and add it on like so. Easy peasy. And it's good because you can change it depending on what height you want your floral arrangement in there. Right, I think I'll go for, um, let me see. I think we'll go for this um in insert for this stamp what do you call it can't think today not feeling too great i'm afraid but if you bear with me we will get there right so i'm just gonna put that directly on top now that can be stamped just by itself obviously because it has a border already built in i do like that i do like a good old monotone type card and these would be stunning, um, just in the black. Right, now, for my next one, let's use this similar um, vase. And I'm just going to line it up like so. Let's see, you don't need the outer one. But you will find your feet with um, how you prefer to use these. They're absolutely adorable. And you see we'll have a couple of them border um, stamps there as well. Right, now, this one here is um, a standard stem. And we've got tulips and things as well. But I'm going to use this stamp again, I think. Mm -hmm, decisions, decisions. Um, no, I'll go, I'll go for this one. Now I have used this set to um, create my own background before, so that was quite good. Right, so again I'm only adding ink up to a certain point. Um, this one doesn't matter as much because um, you're stamping onto the black so you don't notice the overlap. Right, and then I want to add a small array of flowers at the bottom. And what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to use the standard stem, which is here. I'm going to use, I'm just 
going to use a normal vase. Like so. And this one I will stamp into it so that I can create uh, a, like a glass phase effect. Okay, so. Let's pop that down. Pick it up. Stamp it up. Now, let me see. I'm going to pop it over towards the left. Now that is smudged slightly, but that was my fault for adding too much ink. And um, we're going to pop another one over here. <clears throat> now, going with the theme of these little flowers, I think I'll use, I think I'll use this one. Just going to pop one there. And I'm going to pop one right about here. And I think I'll add some leaves and I'll hide, that'll hide some of this smudged. I don't know if you could see that. It's rather annoying when you get near the end of something and <laughs> you smudge the blooming thing. Ah, never mind. I have a lovely little leaf stamp here. So I am going to add some leaves on this. Like so. Adorable, adorable. Do you like that? You can see it takes away from this smudged one. Super! Right. Now, what I'm going to do, um, I need to stamp a sentiment. And I am going to go with... Um, oh, what should I go with now? Um, da, 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 da. Birthday wishes. Okay, and again, stamping in black. So I'm just going to pop that there. Birthday wishes. Adorable. Adorable, adorable. Oh, kadok. Right, now I'm going to go into my second card. And I am going to use this gorgeous floral piece, which is this bit here. Okay, so I need to pick that up with my big block. And I'm going to place this, I'm going to pop that in the middle, I think. Or should I pop it to the side? I'll pop it to the side. There we go. What a lovely, delicate stamp set. I love it. I love it, I love it. And we're going to overlap with the vase. Okay. Just going to pop that there as straight as I can. Really simple, really easy. I've seen lots of fancy things done with this set, but um, I'm just going to keep it simple today. Right, now, you probably notice there's a lot of two stamp, two stage stamping for this one. So you can see this is like a, is that like a cherry, cherry blossom or is that a cherry blossom? Anyway, there's two parts stamping to those two. There's a two part to that, two part to that. Um, so you could actually just add the ink to add the colour, but I'm going to use my blends today. There's the, like the daisy and there's a tulip and lots of leaves and stuff. So it's really, really pretty set. And of course you do have the, um, there's a coordinating punch that goes with this as well. Um, and I have a, a punch stencil in here, a template that I know um, will fit into there. So if I position the stamps, I've got a tutorial on YouTube here somewhere about this one, um, it will punch them out perfectly. So these are all available in our annual catalogue. Now, um, I think I'll add just a small sentiment on this one that will see hello. These are great for making quick cards. And pop that there like so. Ta-da! 
I do like to bring out old, older stamp sets um, that I haven't used in a while. Right, now, what I want to do is I want to add a pop of colour. So if I get, what's this one, Mango Melody, um, I'm going to get Bammy Blue Light for for in the, the vase to give it a water effect. I'm going to get Lovely Lipstick Light. Is this the light one? No, it's dark. Is this the light one? Yep. Awesome. And I think I'll go with um, Old Olive Light for the leaves. So if I do the leaves first, now because this is an intricate kind of set, I'm going to use the normal um, the normal nib rather than the brush nib. Okay. So I'm just colouring. I'm using the brush nib for this one, but don't go too close to the edges, just in case it bleeds out. Okay, that's lovely with the black. And what you can do, you could just layer it up with more ink, more blends to give a darker area. I do like that. I do like that. Okay, and we want some. Mango Melody Light on this. And I think I'll add some Mango Melody Dark too, actually. Adorable. I do like that. Right, Dark Mango Melody, where are you? No, I'm just kind of... Just gives it a little bit more depth. Like so. Da, 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 da. Ooh, I do like it. Okay, now, I think I have a colour for this. I think I'll go with purple posy. Haven't used this yet. Oh yeah, like that. That's purple posy light. I will add a little touch of the purple posy dark blend. I do like that. I am um, right, purple posy dark. So I'm just going to add a little bit to the bottom of the buds. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I like it, I like it. I do like it. Now, there we go. Number one. That's pretty. And this one I'm going to add the blue for the water. And here. Like so. Love it. And I think for the colour I will go for... What colour shall I go for for this? Decisions, decisions. I am going to go for Flirty Flamingo. Oh, I do, do, do like that. Nice and easy. And you know what? Because I'm not feeling 100% today, this is just the kind of therapy I need. Nice, relaxing. Colouring. Isn't it adorable? Simple but sweet. Right now, the darker um, flirty flamingo is this one. That's lovely lipstick. Wait, where's my other flirty flamingo? That's lipstick. That's red. Real red. Hmm, where's my other flirty flamingo? Ooh, I do know what to know what I've done with it. Oh, that was the duck. This is the light. But you know what? It doesn't matter. That's silly sausage. 
Yeah. Perfect. Right, so that is the two simple cards. Nice and easy. Isn't it adorable? Absolutely adorable. And I managed to smudge that there with silly sausage. I could add another little um another little flower to the side there, a little, little leaf. But um maybe I should actually because mistakes happen, unfortunately, and we need to know how to rectify them. So what we'll do is I, um, I will add a couple of leaves, like so. Easy peasy. Fabulous. Okay, guys, that's just quickly, um, quickly to show you how to make these gorgeous little varied breezes um, card fronts. And um, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.